Hello, I'm Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, and I'm out on another walk. And this time, I'm looking for a windmill. I'm in Cross in Hand in East Sussex, and I saw, um, well actually, one of my lovely viewers got in touch with me and said, hey, you should have a look at this. And I did have a look at it, and it was a windmill. A windmill that's desperately in need of people's help. They've got a fundraiser going, and they need to restore it. So, seeing that I'm into walks and heritage and that sort of thing, I thought, well, it's an opportunity too good to miss to report on a wonderful windmill. I've been doing windmills recently on my walk, so I decided to see if I can come along and see it. So, I'm up. I imagine this must be Mill Lane to look for a post mill. The mill I'm after is one of the two mills that stood here. Only the brick roundhouse of the former mill remains, on a site used by windmills as far back as the 16th century. It's known as the Old Mill. The new mill came in a roundabout sort of way, having been moved twice before. You can see them both now approaching. The Old Mill is shown on an old map of Sussex in 1724, it was badly damaged in 1790 when struck by lightning. It was repaired and then went on until 1903. It was a hand-winded windmill with two pairs of stones to grind corn. The brick is black from tar and the roundhouse is probably now used for storage. The larger mill, now ahead of me, arrived here in Cross in Hand in 1855. It's a post mill with a fan tackle. Originally it was built on Mount Ephraim in Uckfield, but for some reason the squire objected and it was promptly recited where it worked for 13 years until the trees grew up around it and cut off some of the wind. So it was moved to its present site. I know that uh, the, uh, the fundraiser has only just started as I filmed this in um, February and uh, but you can see there's a lot of work to do and I believe it stopped working in 1969 this mill officially. It now sits on a two-storey roundhouse to give it extra height. Unlike many mills that are covered in wood this is metalled. You can see the rust apart from at the rear where it's weatherboarded and I'm sad to say in a sorrowful state. Let's um, Let's go up to the the trig point anyway and and have a look at that because up here you can see a perfect place for a windmill there's the trig and uh, you've got well terrific views all around as you can see there I'm looking um, well I'm looking I guess east although my shadow is to the north because the sun is probably to the west so that's actually probably looking north actually thinking about it a lot of bracken here and if I look that way back towards the south somewhere down there is the south coast let's see how close I can get to the windmill before someone tells me to go away and mind my own business I always feel slightly uh, conspicuous holding the camera but let's have a look anyway there is a Facebook group, Save Cross in Hand Windmill, and a 2018 fundraiser on Indiegogo, the crowdfunding website. The volunteer group are trying to raise enough money to make essential repairs and waterproofing for the short-term survival of the mill. There's probably a larger fundraiser to help with the full restoration of the mill in the long run, but clearly it now needs some essential work to stop it from falling down. It is a Grade 2 listed mill, and it's probably the largest timber post mill in the whole country, which is why it is important that it's saved. Too many mills are being lost thanks to decay or neglect, or have been turned into private dwellings and closed off from the public. Windmills have been with us for centuries and they are one of the oldest ways of harnessing natural power. The corn these majestic machines once ground gave us the staple of life. Surely we cannot let them rot away. 
Well, I'm hoping in the future to talk to the group and um, find out exactly what their plans are, how they intend to do it, and, and maybe even, if they let me, have a look around the mill as well. That would be fantastic to actually perhaps chart even the, um, the, the reconstruction of a, a windmill. I'm sure it's not a, a quick and easy thing. So I wish them well with their funding and if you're interested in giving them some cash I'll put details of where you can do that. And also from the older mill, what's left of it, um, from me, Richard Vobes, the Bald Explorer, thanks for watching and goodbye. <laughs>